We are all different, but when we ask for the Lord's blessings, we must not forget that God created a sequel. It is necessary to suppress any extremist actions, on all sides, regardless of their origin. A considerable share of the world's population still cannot afford comfortable housing, education and quality health care. In the modern world, those who are weak will get unambiguous advice from foreign visitors which way to go and what policy course to pursue. How does one control weight? By not overeating. How does one stay in shape? One plays sports. There are no magic pills here. I go to the gym, I swim daily and from time to time I meet with friends and do extracurricular stuff. You need to put drones under control, you need to lay out certain rules of engagement in order to prevent or minimize collateral casualties. It is extremely important. I think every person should have some faith inside him, in his heart. What matters is not an external display of this faith, but the inner state of the soul. Terrorists are always a threat to someone. If we'll be scared of them, it means they have won. History proves that all dictatorships, all authoritarian forms of government are transient. Only democratic systems are not transient. Whatever the shortcomings, mankind has not devised anything superior. In many countries today, moral and ethical norms are being reconsidered. National traditions, differences in nation and culture are being erased. As far as oligarchs who acquire sports team abroad, and invest money abroad, I wouldn't treat this phenomenon as something bad. The state security body should not be seen as an institution that works against society and the state, one needs to understand what makes them work against their own people. Despite all the achievements of civilization, the human being is still one of the most vulnerable creatures on earth. One can truly enjoy his or her life only while experiencing it, and it is inevitably related to a certain level of risk. We must stop using the language of force and return to the path of civilized diplomatic and political settlement. It is extremely dangerous to encourage people to see themselves as exceptional whatever the motivation. There are big countries and small countries, rich and poor, those with long democratic traditions and those still finding their way to democracy. Journalism, as concerns collecting information, differs little if at all from intelligence work. In my judgment, a journalist's job is very interesting. The task of the government is not only to pour honey into a cup, but sometimes to give